the first question says write 0 0.4 as a fraction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal one place to the right. So when you move the decimal one place to the right, remember that every number has a denominator of one. So the number of places you move the decimal towards the right side, that many zeros we add in the denominator. Since we're moving the decimal one place to the right, that means we add one zero in the denominator, which will give us four over 10. And in order to simplify it, we know that four is two times two and 10 is two times five, which means the final answer is going to be two over five. Why two over five? Because we can cancel out the two and two in the numerator and denominator and we're left with two over five. And the next question it says, ABCD's parallelogram, complete the parallelogram and write down the coordinates of D. So the coordinates of D are going to come over here. Why? Because in a parallelogram, opposite lengths are parallel and they're equal. So since AB has a distance of three units, DC would also have a distance of three units. And D would lie on the left side of C, since it's a parallelogram. If it was on the right side, then D would be over here, which would be incorrect. Hence, the coordinates of D are going to be one, one. Then it says increase 40 miles by 43%. So we will do 40 times 43 over 100, which is basically going to give us 43% of 40. And then we add that value to 40 because they're asking us to increase 40 by 43%. If they were asking us just to show what 43% of 40 is, then we would just do 40 times 43 over 100. Since it's, since it's asking us to increase it by 40, so we add 40 times 43 over 100 to 40. Cancel out the zero from one from the numerator and run from the denominator. That gives us four times 43 over 10 plus 40. 4 times 43 is going to be 172 over 10. Like we did in the previous question, to get rid of the decimal, we move the decimal one place to the right. Over here, since we have a 10 in the denominator, we will move the decimal one place to the left. So that's going to give us 17.2 plus 40, and that's going to be 57.2. miles. Find the volume of the prism. So volume basically equals to cross section area times the length. Cross section area is this triangle. So triangle has an area of 1 over 2 times base times height. 4 is your height, 5 is your base, and 12 is your length. So it's going to be 1 over 2 times base times height times length. Cross section area is 1 over 2 times base times height and then length. That's going to be 1 over 2 times 5 times 4 times 12. And that is going to give us 120 centimeter cube. Then says the probability of winning a game is 0 0.3. Jane plays the game 200 times. How many times should she lose the game? So if the probability of winning is 0 0.3, probability of losing is going to be 1 minus 0 0.3, which is going to be 0 0.7. Always remember that the probability of all events happening in a scenario is going to equal to 1. So if they've given us the probability of winning something, the probability of losing in that scenario would be 1 minus the probability of winning. So hence we have 0 
So how many times she would lose the game? We would do 0 0.7 times the number of times she played the game, 200. So move the decimal one place to the right, cancel out a zero. So now we're doing seven times 20, and that's 140.